Welcome back, folks. Now I'm doing this at night just so you can see like how it looks at night because it's pretty awesome the way the campfires light everything up. And guys, I'm doing this in creative mode. Uh, it was widely experimental just until I was able to get it actually working. And as you can see, the monorail system, it stops just short of the tires. Reason being is I found out if the rail is actually connected to what the tires were connected to, if anything bad happened along the monorail rail system, it would automatically pop the tires at both ends of the rail. Now just in case you're wondering, yes, I can slam my monorail into this barrier at full speed and it doesn't break anything. It's pretty awesome. So that being said, this is City Center Station. And this railing system and the bridge below, by the way, takes us to just another little part. So again, with the tires, guys, got another bumper pad at the end here. And just to kind of give you a street view of what I got going on, it's pretty awesome. You can see the, uh, the station platform here. You can walk right into the build. It's pretty awesome. I can even put some stairs here, you know, to get up and out of the build where you can just simply walk. But the main things I wanted to highlight about the monorail system, and guys, I had a friend of mine who actually figured this part out. You can do the thrusters independent of each other. It's kind of tricky. But uh, he kind of did the same thing, went into creative and just kind of figured this stuff out. But basically what he had to do was build the thruster assembly completely segregated from the rest of the build. So in order to do that, you kind of have to build the thruster assembly, you know, a couple of pieces of wood and um, build them on top of another piece of wood that you can break out from under that. So that when you do, the thruster assembly just kind of simply falls. It's not actually attached to that build. And then uh, once you have it down, you can just kind of build the railings around it. Now be careful, if you build the railing where it's actually touching that assembly, it will lock onto the assembly and consider it part of the build. So, you know, you might have to build the railing a little bit away from there, make sure there's at least a one space gap. And then, you know, you can kind of get on there and push that assembly around as you need so that you can, uh, you know, finish and closing it with a railing system. And then hopefully you can see that on my channel here. I got a couple of floor pieces uh, just to make sure that it was sealed from above. That way, you know, the, the thing can't fly out when it's activated. Okay, one more thing to point out about the rocket assembly. Once you got it encased by railing, it's going to need something in the middle too. Um, this might keep it in a little bit. And you might be thinking, well, if that middle thing wasn't in the middle, I could put the third rocket. And yes, you can. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite keep it in there. I've had it just go ahead and, you know, uh, break its way free and fly out of there. So yeah, basically this whole idea stemmed from my friend, just again, creative mode, experimenting, trying to get the monorail system working, and he did. Um, he just kind of had a design where the undercarriage had a couple of tires underneath and it worked. Uh, the bad thing was we kept having this issue whereas if we bumped it just right from the sides, the entire thing would just, you know, kind of like pop off the monorail and go off into, you know, space. And then we'd have to try to either push it back on somehow or, uh, you know, if that wasn't an option, we just had to rebuild the thing. So that kind of set me out to do my own creative kind of deal and uh, try to get the monorail to where it wouldn't be able to come off the rail, period. And I think I figured it out. This has actually been working now pretty consistently. And I'll try to give you different angles and different views here so you can kind of see exactly how things are spaced. And you can see that the tire doesn't actually touch the structure there. There's a real, real tiny uh, hair wide, or maybe two hair wide, uh, space between that tire and the monorail on the side and then the underneath ones here they don't touch either there's a there's a decent gap there above these tires i'm trying to get a good view here so you can kind of see what i'm talking about and i've actually tried pushing this thing off the rail system and i cannot get it to bump off if it acts like it want, might want to um, i think it's those under wheels that are actually keeping it from being able to pop off the track Okay, so now the moment you're all waiting for, I want to get a good running head start here and just to kind of show that these tires, you know, keep things very, very secure. I hit that at full blast with the thruster still activated and no damage in sight. You can see the tracks kind of popping here. That's normal. Um, I haven't figured out a way to make it completely stop doing that other than adding more balloons. It seems like the more buoyant it is, the less, you know, friction it's causing on the track. But honestly, I haven't had it break anything. It's just kind of a weird graphic that, you know, just is persistent is all. So without any further ado, let's do this thing. 
you can see there's barely enough clearance here. And I could probably bring those supports back in, you know, another notch, but I kind of like the way it looked. Like a, a belly that's bowed out to the sides a little bit. My only complaint is the thrusters shut off intermittently. I wish they would just keep going. Okay, so I got my bumper stop there. And it's kind of weird because the engines actually go into the tires. I don't know if you guys can see that. But they don't break. Uh, they don't seem to damage anything. They're just in there. And I do have a one dot gap in between my station platform and the build itself. I noticed if I put it right up against the build, um, it would pop all the balloons and pop all the tires. Super frustrating. So make sure there's at least a one dot gap in between your build and your station platform. All right, so now for the return trip, and I'll try to give you guys a good view of the, the village I got going here. I got a lot cooking in this build. A lot of different ideas, bridges, etc. And I'll probably put a video out just on this village at some point. But for right now, I really just wanted to showcase the monorail system. Okay, coming into the station. Boom, baby. All right, folks, here's our other build. This is the monorail that started it all. So maybe you can see these uh, rocket engines now better this way. This is the one that's in case, so he's got that all nice and neat situated in there. So exact same idea there. And this one does the same thing. It kind of makes that popping graphic, but nothing ever really breaks. But just to kind of show you a little bit what I was talking about, the wheeling system. So I'll try to get in here where, where the view might actually cooperate a little bit. There on the left-hand side of my screen, you can kind of see where that wheel is. Now this is a thinner railing system. So again, there's no underneath wheels. This is just the side wheels and it keeps it on there for the most part. Now again, those wheels were initially up, you know, uh, nestled right underneath the dynamic platform and it was just too easy to pop off the tracks. We noticed if we lowered the wheels a little bit, it helped a little bit. Uh, we can still get it off the track, unfortunately, but it is uh, a lot harder to do that now. So yeah, the three rockets that are actually attached to the build itself take it one way, and then the independent rocket assembly on this side takes it back the other way. And unfortunately, we can't put too many balloons on it. If we had more buoyancy, it wouldn't be, you know, it would be a lot faster and it wouldn't have so much friction on the track. Now the problem is, again, because it's the, the system without wheels underneath, the thing can, you know, accidentally just kind of float away, and we found that out. We put two more balloons on there, and the thing actually started taking off. So, uh, you know, one more balloon might be okay, but, uh, again, it just makes it awful buoyant, and pushing it off the rail might actually, you know, be a lot easier that way. So we kind of sacrifice a little bit of speed just for that added stability. 